the secret life of worms, larvae, and centipedes, nature's little helpers. Let me ask you something. What comes to mind when you see a worm wiggling in the dirt or a centipede scurrying under a rock? Most of us react with a loud, you, or maybe take a step back. These little creatures often get a bad reputation, gross, creepy, maybe even dangerous. But what if I told you that some of these so-called creepy crawlies are actually heroes in disguise? That behind their strange shapes and slimy movements lies a world of silent work, healing, cleaning, rebuilding our planet one tiny action at a time. Today, we're digging deep, pun intended, into the secret life of worms, larvae, and centipedes. And trust me, after this, you might never look at the ground the same way again. And hey, if you enjoy discovering how nature works in the most unexpected ways, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more amazing facts, and tell us in the comments which of these helpers surprised you the most. Let's crawl right in. Chapter 1. Worms, the Soil Magicians Let's start with the humble earthworm. It has no eyes, no arms, no voice, but it might just be one of the most important creatures on Earth. Worms are nature's plow. Every time they move through the soil, they break it apart, mix it, and make it richer. As they tunnel, they let air and water reach plant roots, and when they eat dead leaves or decaying matter, they turn it into nutrient-rich poop called castings, which is basically gold for plants. In fact, Charles Darwin once said, it may be doubted whether there are many other animals which have played so important a part in the history of the world. Worms are everywhere, from your backyard garden to deep forest floors. And without them, crops would struggle, forests would thin, and the Earth's natural recycling system would collapse. So next time you see a worm, think of it as a tiny underground. Farmer working around the clock. Have you ever spotted earthworms after it rains? Drop in the comments if you have. Chapter two, maggots, nature's cleanup crew. Now let's talk about maggots. Yes, they're the larval stage of flies. Yes, they show up on rotting things, but before you cringe, listen to this. Maggots are nature's waste management workers. They eat dead animals, spoiled food, and organic waste. In doing so, they clean up messes that would otherwise spread, disease or pollution. But here's the real shocker, maggots can heal wounds. In medical settings, a special kind of sterile maggot is used in something called maggot therapy. Doctors place these little guys on infected wounds and they eat away only the dead, rotting tissue, leaving healthy flesh untouched. They also release chemicals that kill harmful bacteria and speed up healing. In World War I, soldiers discovered that wounds infested with maggots actually healed better than those without. T Today, hospitals still use maggot therapy for stubborn wounds, especially when antibiotics don't work. So yeah, maggots might not win a beauty contest, but they've saved lives. Would you ever try maggot therapy if needed? Type yes or no in the comments. Be honest. Chapter three, centipedes, tiny hunters with a purpose. Next up, centipedes, fast, long, with lots of legs and a reputation for being terrifying. But behind those many legs is a hunter helping balance ecosystems. Centipedes are carnivores. That means they eat other insects like roaches, spiders, termites, and even pests that destroy crops. In your home or garden, they act as natural pest control in fact, the house centipede, despite looking like something out of a horror film, is completely harmless to humans and can help get rid of unwanted bugs in your basement or bathroom. Some species of centipedes even have venom in their fangs to paralyze their prey. In tropical countries, 
They're used in traditional medicine, believed to help treat fever and pain, and scientists are now studying centipede venom to develop new kinds of painkillers, possibly more powerful and safer than opioids. Who would have thought that a creature most people try to squish might actually hold the secret to the future of pain relief? Chapter 4. Larvae. Not just ugly babies. Now, let's zoom in on the insect world again, specifically larvae. Larvae are baby bugs, and they come in all shapes and weird forms. Butterfly larvae, aka caterpillars, are the most famous, but there are beetle larvae, ant larvae, bee larvae, you name it. Many larvae, especially in the wild, play a key role in breaking down waste and recycling nutrients. They eat rotting wood, fungus, dead plants. Basically, they're the cleanup squad of the insect world. Some larvae, like those of black soldier flies, are being used today to fight food waste. They can eat leftover food scraps and turn them into compost and even protein-rich feed for chickens and fish. Imagine a world where our food waste becomes a source of sustainable animal feed, all thanks to wriggly little larvae. And that's not science fiction. It's already happening in some eco-farms around the world. Chapter 5. A World Below Our Feet So what have we learned today? Under our feet, hiding in the soil, or behind your garden shed, there's a world of silent workers. They may look weird, creepy, or even disgusting, but they are essential. Worms till and nourish the soil. Maggots clean wounds and recycle waste. Centipedes hunt pests and may hold medical breakthroughs. Larvae clean up nature and help create sustainable farming. Together, these tiny helpers support our food systems, our health, and the environment. We often focus on lions, whales, or eagles when talking about amazing animals. But maybe, just maybe, the most important creatures are the ones we barely notice. So the next time you see a bug or worm wiggling through the dirt, maybe take a closer look. You might just be looking at one of nature's most important workers. Which of these tiny creatures surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into nature's little helpers, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more wild facts, and share this video with someone. Who needs to stop squishing bugs?